Hello everyone, myself Pavani. I am working as Assistant Professor in CSC AML Department at MLR Institute of Technology. Today I would like to give a lesson on Stochastic P-Voice Tagging. In previous video, we discussed what is a P-Voice Tagging and Types of P-Voice Tagging. Under Types of P-Voice Tagging, first one Rule Based P-Voice Tagging we discussed. So now we are discussing Stochastic P-Voice Tagging. So what is the meaning of Stochastic P-Voice Tagging and what are the approaches in Stochastic P-Voice Tagging and what is the meaning of hidden Markov model with example we this is a overview of the session and coming to the first one what is the stochastic POS tagging it is a statistical method including the probabilities and find out the frequencies to assign the parts of speech to the words this is the major role of the stochastic POS tagging that means we are assigning the parts of speech to the words based on the probabilities and frequencies. How the stochastic tagging works, right? See the first one, it calculates the probability of the word having a specific tag based on its frequency and context. That means it calculates the first probability, then uh, it adds the words to specific tags based on the frequency of the particular word. Suppose 80%, 20%, or 50%, based on the frequency, it will add to the, uh, it will assign the POS to the word. So, it depends on the that means it uses the training corpora. We already discussed research corpora, right? What is the corpora? It is a small uh, database like it contains uh, some data to get the to get these probabilities. We are using the research corpora words. See the approaches. See the first one. This is the simplest way of this research tagger applies the some following POS tagging approaches. First one word frequency approach. This is a, it contains all two approaches. First one, word frequency approach. What is the meaning of here word frequency? That means we are calculating the frequency of the word. That means assigns the most frequency of the word POS tag each word. It assigns incorrect tags if a less common context appear as it does not consider the surrounding word. This is a drawback we are facing here, right? See the drawback. What is the drawback here? It it assigns the incorrect tags also, but it, it will not consider the surrounding words it automatically assigns the intact word that means it will not consider the surrounding or uh, follows by the front end and back end words see the example here i am taking some training data that contains a book right book tagged has a noun 80 percent of the time and work 20 percent of the time this is that means i am taking the data set, data set in the data set contains book right book sometimes it is 80 percent and 20 percent weight is i am giving right see the sentence she will book a room this is a completely change right this is she will book a room see what frequency approach me incorrectly tag book as a noun but here the book act as a not not a noun this is a correct incorrect word right so instead of a verb due to higher noun frequency because i am giving here priority to the noun 80 percent right that's why it is taking automatically incorrectly tag to the book as a noun this is a training data to overcome this word frequency approach we are using the tag sequence properties that means we are adding tags to the sequence probabilities let's see consider previous tags to assign the pos tags in previous word sequence we are not considering the pos uh, previous uh, words right that means uh, depends on the previous word but here i am depending on the previous tags this is a major difference in a word frequency and see tag sequence probabilities let's see the disadvantage here in previous also disadvantage but here also disadvantage because we are calculating the previous data contains we require large amount of training data this is the first drawback we are facing right here performance may decrease because long and engram models due to the data sparsity because we, we are training large amount of data because right so that is the decrease in the performance of the system let's see the example here here i am taking sentence the cat sits on the mat this is a sentence I am taking. Suppose I am applying here n-gram model. The n-gram model contains bigram model, pi-gram model. We already discussed in previous sessions. Here I am applying here bigram model. Here probability of seats by cat is suppose 60%. Verb after noun. It is based on the 60% weightage, right? See here 
probability of six and dog some zero point two. But here weightage I am giving to the cat only. But here not I am I am giving twenty percent to the dog only. Right? This is a six is correctly tagged verb after cat. But this is a variation of the bigram model, right? Let's see the HMM model, hidden Markov model. Very very concept important concept in uh, NLP. Uh, let's see and hidden HMM is a statistical model that represents a system where you have to hidden state. It is a name itself. It is a we have to find out the it means hidden state. You cannot directly observe. We cannot observe the hidden state directly. So by we are applying some formula, some step by step process to find out the hidden state. See here, I am uh, giving some. I am taking some um, weather report. Suppose see the example. Imagine a weather prediction model. If the weather contains some sunny, some rainy, cloudy, right? I am taking three three types of variations here. Is hidden. You cannot see if you are indoors. That means I am in out indoors position. I can't see the hidden states, but I can observe the my friends carries an umbrella, which gives clues about the hidden weather state. This is a, a sentence I am taking to get the to find out the hidden states. Here, see the step by step for process. It contains the five element. First one is the states, right? So let's find out the possible hidden states. The possible hidden states are what? Suppose sunny and rainy, cloudy. These are the three possible states. Let's what is? Uh, let us observe the states, right? So the visible symbols are can observe umbrella with umbrella without umbrella. This is of some possible observations. Let's see the. We have to find out the transition probability of the matrix A. Suppose that means transition probability means how many types of variations occur. See from state to state. Suppose probability of moving from one state to another. See probability of S followed by S. S means here. Here S means sunny. R means rainy. C means cloudy. This is the some three possible hidden states, right? We discussed here. After observations, I am I am doing the matrix, right? I am draw the matrix here. The probability of S followed by means sunny. Followed by sunny. This is a one one type, and next probability of sunny followed by rainy. This is a one, and probability of sunny followed by some cloudy. This is another, and probability of R R followed by some sunny R followed by rainy R followed by cloudy, and probability of cloudy followed by sunny and cloudy followed by rainy and cloudy followed by cloud. These are the possible variations in a three hidden states, right? It can occur in 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 several ways, right? See, after transition probability, we have to find out the emission probability. Let's see how we can find out the emission probability. We have to observe a particular observation given a state. If it is sunny, how like how likely is it to see an umbrella? It means how can we see uh, is umbrella with carry the umbrella? It is a how sunny or cloudy or rainy? Let's see here. Suppose the emission probability we can denote by the B B equal to probability of here umbrella or S means sunny suppose one percent probability of umbrella some rainy some ninety percent because I don't need sunny uh, umbrella right if suppose rainy is going right I need a umbrella so it is a ninety percent chances is there I am giving ninety percent weightage to the this particular part right here. Umbrella, suppose cloudy. It may be thirty percent required, not a complete required, right? This is the I am giving the uh, some priority to the particular scenario, right? Here next probability of here n by s and n is no umbrella. U is the umbrella, right? Here probability of n by rainy suppose equal to some zero point one probability of Umbrella. It means no umbrella. It will be cloudy. Some seventy percent. This 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 way I divide the. That means I given the probabilities to the some cloudy and sunny and rainy. This is the um, how we are calculating the emission probabilities. Let's see final one initial state distribution that is called as a pi right divided by pi. Here what is the formula here? Probability of s. That means sunny is fifty fifty percent and zero point three is some. Thirty percent, some that is 
sunny is 50%, rainy is 30%, and cloudy is 20%. That means I am giving some 50% chance of sunny and 30% chance of rainy and 20% cloudy. This is the overall concept of the hidden marker model. We how we are finding the transition probabilities and estimation probabilities. Here I am taking the basic example for taking the for finding the emission emission probabilities and transition probabilities. Uh, this in this video we discussing what is a stochastic PoS tagging. What is the approaches? Tag sequence and uh, word sequence and hidden marker model with example we discussed right. This basic example we discussed right. So uh, in exam uh, they gave some uh, uh, this paragraph. You can apply the transition probabilities and emission probabilities. Thank you.